Hi everyone, uh, this is Raj Handel from Venice Hybrid Tech. Uh, today I am making a short video on uh, showing you how to use the high speed charger on a Toyota Prius Generation 2 battery. Uh, this is uh, as per the request by one of my subscribers. Um, he wanted to see actually how the charger is being used and then after that I will show you the discharging part and we will see physically how it is done and what are the readings and what are the connections and everything so that people who are buying my high speed charger or a grid charger or a discharger they know how to use it and they can use this video for reference whenever they are doing uh, some job on any kind of a hybrid battery so with that introduction uh, let's go over to my uh, shop uh, where I will show you all the connection. Okay, so I'm in my workshop and uh, before I proceed, I want to show you a few things. So <clears throat> I have my high speed charger and the wire harness and uh, I'm going to set the timer so you guys can see how much time it takes and uh, what happens uh, in the time period. Uh, so uh, this timer, the top window will show you uh, 180 minutes. That's the timer I'll set for three hours and we'll see how much time it takes. And then I have this hybrid battery. I want to just show you a few things here so that um, some of the people, when they get a charger and they want to start using it on the battery, they know exactly what to do and what not to do. So let's uh, uh, spend a couple of minutes on the battery. So this is the uh, Toyota Prius Generation 2 battery. And this is how it is fitted in the car. The trunk is this side here. And you have to remove this portion here, this part, this cover. And once you remove the cover, you know I have already removed the safety plug from here. Now, these are the two points where you're going to connect the uh, clips of the high-speed charger. Okay, the connections are fairly simple as, as I explained to you. The positive is connected here at the back and the negative is connected here at the back on the left side towards the body. And uh, the wire harness is connected to the charger through the two, two pin connector. The charger, as you know, this is a high speed charger which is with an adjustable voltage. I will set it to number two position where I get 285 volts output and the switch on the side is on. On. Now, if I connect the charger to the outlet, AC outlet, so as you can see, when I connected the AC power to the charger, the voltmeter is showing zero and the timer is 180 minutes is going to be on and 300 minutes is going to be off. Now if I turn the red switch on, you see the charger is showing 285 volts. That is the output of the charger. I will still not put the safety plug in for the battery to start charging. I am just showing you all the settings. So you got the rotary switch on number 2 position. You got the other switch on, on and then you have the red, red switch, power switch on and you're getting 285 volts. Now I'm going to put the safety plug in and you're going to see what the voltage of the battery is and then I'm going to start charging it. I'm just doing all this for the sake of uh, demonstration so you understand everything properly. Now, as you can see, this battery is uh, pretty much sitting for quite some time. It is showing 202 volts it should go up to about 230 to 40 volts with the uh, proper charging. So now I'm going to turn the red switch on 
and let's see what happens. It's already gone to 203 volts and uh, what I'm going to do is for the sake of uh, brevity and uh, uh, not wasting your time, I'm going to come back after some time and see how much time has elapsed and see what the voltage is. Okay. Okay, so now as you can see, it is uh, gone up to 229 volts and the timer is at 119. That means it's taken about 61 minutes. It was 180 earlier. So in about one hour time, it has gone to 230 volts. Now, as I keep telling everybody in my videos, you watch the voltage and if it doesn't move for about five minutes or so, then you just turn off the charger and your battery is charged. Uh, put it in the car and go for a drive after that. So it just went up to 2.30. I'm going to wait for maybe another five, 10 minutes and check it again. If it doesn't move, I'm going to turn it off and then if I need to charge it more, I'm going to let it sit for some time and if it goes down, I'll charge it up again. That way I will saturate the battery and uh, the battery will be fully charged. So this is how you use a high speed charger to charge the Toyota Prius Generation 2 as you see in this video. So the charger uh, finally stopped at uh, 232 volts and I waited for about 5 minutes uh, it did not move so then I turned it off. So that's uh, all I wanted to show in this video. Um, I will be making another video on uh, my discharger, how to use it and I'll be using the same battery. One thing I wanted to say that this, uh, these connections that I showed you are for, uh, for the battery if it is inside the car. But if it is outside on a bench, you can remove the cover and you can connect the uh, crocodile clips right onto the battery at the two ends, the negative and the positive. And that will also do the same job as I showed in this video. There is no difference between the two. It's just a matter of convenience, what you like. So uh, that's all and uh, thanks for watching and uh, please like us on uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, with all the best for everybody. Uh, see you till next time. Bye-bye.